there's something that you said that was important when re referring to your own family, right? Yeah. Uh, that is your family. Um, have you ever tried to talk to your family? Because if, if it is that you can't get to your family, mm -hmm. what does it say for the others that are trying to talk to people otherwise? I am the only thing that is keeping my family from like going full born into that. Okay. So That's for instance, answer. um, the amount of times that I've thought about like unfriending my brother-in-law, the amount of times I've thought about unfriending my family, the amount of times that <laughs> they've said something offensive and I've wanted to walk out of the room, I've lost count. But I'm the one person in the room who says something. And when I say something, it sticks with them, okay. right? Because there's this thing called confirmation bias. Mm -hmm. And confirmation bias is this amazing thing with cognitive dissonance that basically says, how could anyone disagree with me? They have to be evil, right? Mm -hmm. right? So that doesn't work, though, when families and friends talk to each other. Because when I'm home, they know who I am. They've known me for 36 years. They love me. If I stand up to them and tell them they're wrong, they may not agree with me, but they know I'm not evil, right? right. So there's a moment then when they look at the rest of the world, they see it through that lens. Right. And whenever they hear that another is... argument, they think, well, Jared might think that. So that doesn't mean that those people are engaged in a conspiracy. That doesn't mm -hmm. mean that these right. people are evil. <laughs> now, here's the problem. That shouldn't be our job. Right. <laughs> right? Like, I can't sit here and tell you that you have to sit there and take your family's shit. Right. Right? <laughs> but if you can, it's incredibly important. These echo chambers and these bubbles, they are the fuel. They're, they're the kerosene being thrown on the fire. Not to take up too much, but I'm, yeah. glad, I'm glad that you said it that way because I also, spe I also tell, I'm from Kingwood. And I tell the white people in Kingwood that they have a whole lot of work to do to help out in the problem that, problems that we're having because there are certain things that I can't get across just because of my being that they can. Yeah. And that's the reason I asked it in the framework so that I asked for you. I'm really, well, I mean, I'm, I'm a white man in America, so I'm lucky. Um, but I will say that I am lucky that I can use my privilege in right. that way. So, like, for instance, I wouldn't have been able to go in those Trump rallies if I wasn't who I was. Right. You know, it's like mm -hmm. I, can, I can wander into a Trump rally tomorrow and I just hang out, right? My glasses are a little yeah. different. But, uh, <laughs> but you know, it, it was a thing where, like, those are my people. I throw on a flannel that I would usually wear on a Wednesday and mm -hmm. I go hang out, you know? Yeah. And, and, by the way, I've heard all the things that they say, so it doesn't shock me. I'm not yeah. like, oh, my God, right? Yeah. Um, I can also use my privilege in a way where I can talk to the people that other people can't. Right, right? exactly. So, like, you know, not, not to get too real, but if you were to go talk to my family, there would be inherent mistrust. Right. Right. That means that that's my job. I, I think a lot about uh, Michelle Obama. And everybody takes that one quote, which is, when they go low, we go high. That quote is really powerful for a lot of different reasons. It has a lot of different contexts. The truth is, when it comes to those people, we're talking about like people who have like bad prejudices that can be manipulated. The sad truth of it is, we have to be bigger people, right? Mm -hmm. We can't war with them because the more that we war with them, the farther they go, mm -hmm. right? When we ostracize them from society, they go straight to the white supremacist mm -hmm. and their ranks balloon, right. right? So I do what I can, and I take a lot of breaks, right? Like, <laughs> I'm going home for Christmas, yeah. and we'll see what happens. <laughs>